Hi, welcome to chapter four. In this chapter, we're going to be building all the muscles of the upper leg. We're going to start off with building rectus femoris and the knee. Then we're going to build vastus medialis, vastus lateralis, sartorius muscle, tensor fascia lata on the side here, the iliotibial tract. Then we're going to go on to the back side where we're going to cover the hamstring muscles of semimembranosus and semitendinosus on the inside side, and then biceps femoris on the outside side. Let's go on to that now. All right, let's zoom into the upper leg. I'm going to select the points right here in the center. Pull these down a little bit. I want to make room to line things up so I can do a few more edge loop splits. It's like one, two, three, four, five edges there, and edge loop split all the way down the legs. I just wanted to basically create more geometry here so I can get the basic shape of the leg before I start extruding out major muscle masses. Pull these points up and in and up right here and forward. Let's go into the front and side views real quickly. I wanted to compare the geometry with the image planes in the background. I also noticed that I want to add about two more edge loops through the knee area. So I'm going to zoom in here, space out the edges I already have there, a little bit down, a little bit up, so I can, right in the center part, I can add two more edge loops. The reason for this is I want to be able to manipulate the geometry if I ever want to animate this later on. So the extra edges right there will allow me to do that. Now I'm just going to grab the overall mass and move it up to line it up to the image planes a little better. And the, this row of polygons right at the top, move that up a little. Let's go back into the perspective view. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to line up the geometry for extruding rectus femoris muscle down the center of the quadriceps and the knee area. So I'm going to snap back to the side view line up where the knee area is and select those points. I'm going to go into the perspective view. I'm going to widen those out and the ones right underneath also. So that defines the basic area of the knee. Next I'm going to grab the face right above the knee. That's the quadricep muscle the tendon. Scale that together. Now I'm going to move around the points right around either side of that so I can leave geometry areas for where I'm going to extrude out the vastus medialis and vastus lateralis. I'm just going to shape the area on the lower leg a little bit before I move on. We're going to get to the lower leg a little later. I just want the basic form there before I go up to the upper leg. Next we're going to move this down, do one more edge loop through the center here that's going to be necessary for our extruding. Okay. Let me select one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten faces here. And now I'm going to extrude those out and scale them in a little bit right here on the, on the quadricep tendon. The knee area I'm going to push out to the sides a little bit, defining the knee a little prominently. I'm going to pull up the edge there and spin these two faces inwards. That way it follows the line of the tibia on the, on the lower leg. Okay. Let's go up to the rectus femoris muscle and I'm going to grab these faces, all three of them, and scale them together to round out the form. Now I'm just going to shape the geometry a little bit. Grab this edge, pull it down, pull it in, all right, push it back a little bit. Okay, we have that muscle now. Now next, we'll want to do the fastest medialis, but first we have to line up the geometry alongside that. Spin these two faces, okay, I think we want to keep that, move around the points. Let's see if we want to spin these two. Whoops. Uh, 
No, that's not going to work. Spin that back. Select these two. No, let's do the one right above this. Hold on. Those two. Okay. That gives us a little bit of the geometry we want right there for lining up the sartorius muscle and the vastus medialis. I'm going to move around these points. Next, I'm going to select the faces of one, two, three, four of vastus medialis. Extrude that out. Scale it in. Now I'm going to shape the geometry a little better. Pull out the back parts, round out the form. All right. So that gives us our basic muscle with there. Now next, I'm going to extrude out one, two, three, four. Whoops. Four. And that's going to be vastus lateralis. Extrude that out, scale it together. Just manipulate the geometry a little bit, pulling out the edges or the points, whichever works best for you, maybe a combination of both. Round out that geometry. Okay. Now I want to spin in both of these muscles that I've made back into the overall mass of the leg. Let me see if I can spin those two. Actually, that might be a bit too high. Spin. No, that's still, that's, that's too high. Let's go down to the bottom one we select and the one underneath it. Spin those two inward and delete the extra edges they share. All right, that's what we want. Space that out a little bit. Let's do the same thing on the opposite side. For vastus medialis. Let's see, maybe we want to do this one a little higher. Select these two faces. Actually, that's probably too high also. So let's select the same ones we did on the opposite side. Delete the edges they share. Okay. We have both masses now, vastus medialis and vastus lateralis. Now, next we have to do the sartorius muscle. That uh, starts at the ilium, goes down around the bottom side of the vastus medialis and down to the lower leg. All right, we're going to need to spin some more faces here. Let's see if about these two. Spinning faces is a little bit of a guessing game even for me sometimes, so don't be worried if it's confusing to you. How about these two? Whoops, hold on. How about these two? That's a weird one to spin, but it might actually work. Push that back. Aha. So we slowly have uh, Sartorius's uh, outline slowly coming in there. I'm going to also spin the ones right underneath that one to keep the flow going of the muscle all the way down. There, see? Now we have one continuous flow of that muscle group all the way down to the lower leg, to the top of the lower leg. Let's go up now. Actually, let's go to the bottom here and start extruding these faces. Starting right at the knee, one. Just can't select that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait a second. I think we've got to establish the top part of the sartorius muscle where that's going to be before we start extruding this geometry. That spin face isn't going to work. Maybe these two. I think that's going to work. Let's pull up this edge. Looks a little weird, the geometry looks stretched, but I think it'll work for us. So now it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And uh, extrude that out, all nine of those. Pull it out a little forward. Now select the edges and round out the form. All right. So now we have sartorius muscle coming down and around the vastus medialis. Next muscle we're going to create is going to be tensor fascia lata, which goes alongside and on top of vastus lateralis. OK. 
Okay. Just tweaking some points real quick before I get to that. All right. Spin the face down at the bottom here. Spin it twice to make it go forwards and move around the points so it more naturally flows back into the leg. Sartorius muscle that is. Let's go back up to the top now. Now we're going to extrude out tensor fascia lata. After I move around some of these points real quick, push up the overall mass a little higher. Okay. It's looking good. Now let's push this point back, grab one, two, three faces there, and extrude that out. Outward, scale it in a little bit by grabbing the points and just pushing them in, rounding out the form. So now you have the tensor fascia lata muscle. We're going to have to spin the bottom faces to blend it back into the mesh. Okay, looks pretty good. Let's grab these two faces and spin. All right, grab the edge, pull it down. Push this edge point in, push that point forward. Just a little bit of sculpting. Remember to always refer to your reference, either the image planes or the maquette if you have it. Now let's grab these two faces on the glute side of the glutes, spin that one more time, one more time. There we go. Now delete that edge and that lines up a little better. Push this point down. Okay, now let's go to the back part of the leg, upper leg, your hamstrings. Select all these faces right here. Extrude those out. That's going to become your semi-membranosus and semi-tendinosus muscles. And grab the edges. Grab the edges right along inside and push them in. Okay. Now pull the edges outward a little. And just manipulate the geometry a little bit real quick. Line things up a little better. I'm going to zoom in here to that area where I just extruded the top part out and select these two faces and spin them backwards. Okay, now grab along the inside of the leg the edges and push them back and space them out more evenly. Same down there, that point. All right, that's looking a little better. Maybe bring them in a little right there. Push these point out. Okay, let's go back down after this right here to the lower part of the leg here. That looks good. And round out the forms a little down here. Select these two faces, spin them inward and forward. Because the muscle mass kind of comes down straight and alongside the leg of semimembranosus and semitendinosus. Okay, round out that form, move around the points. I know I make the point, move, point tweaking look easy, but it takes a lot of time. This took a lot of time to do. It just doesn't look like it. All right, I'm going to push all these points in. Okay, grab these points, pull them in. All right. The next muscle mass we're going to extrude out is going to be parallel to the semimembranosus and semitendinosus, and that's biceps femoris. Run, runs along the outside side of the leg, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and extrude that out. We're going to do the same thing we did with the inside side to this. Grab the edges right along the side of it, and pull those in. It'll help us round out the forms there. Grab the points here, pull them in.
All right, pull that edge down. Just tweaking some of the points as we go. Always got to tweak points as you go. If you don't, you're going to end up with a mess of geometry you can't fix. Spin these faces at the bottom the same way we did the other side. Make sure the geometry is uh, nice and well-rounded. Push that in. Grab these points, space them out a little bit. All right. That looks a little pushed out too far. Let's go to the upper part of the leg real quick. That needs to be spun back into the mesh. At the top part of the leg where we extruded, after we get rid of these points here, push those in. Hold on one second. There, okay. Select these two faces right at the top here and spin them. Hold on. Oops, some more stuff selected. Okay, spin them inward, forward. That blends the biceps femoris back biceps femoris back into the glutes as we want them to. But eventually we want the glutes to come up over top of that. We'll fix that later. Okay. Now grabbing some of these points, move them around, shape it a little better at the bottom side here. Now let's zoom in on the glutes here and focus on those. We'll push these points around a little bit. Just getting the shape I want before I start spinning faces and adding geometry. I think these two faces need to be spun right at the base of the gluteus maximus. And push that around and we need to spin these two little bottom faces. Okay, that gives us a better blend back into the leg with the glutes. Space stuff around a little more. And I'm going to spin these two. And now I'm going to extrude them inward. That's going to be where the great trochanter is on your leg. Pull that out just a little bit. Push the geometry around. Okay, bring up these points right here. Next, we're going to focus on uh, extruding out gluteus medius. Right there. Pull that out. Scale it together. Push the geometry up. And, all right. Round out the form a little more. Next, we're going to extrude out the top part of gluteus maximus. The one, two, three faces right here. Extrude that out. And scale it in. Okay, grab the edges, round out the shapes a little. Okay. The follow after this, we're going to extrude out the bottom part of gluteus maximus, which will also have uh, the iliotibial tract extruding at the same time. But before we do that, I want to line up the geometry so the iliotibial tract just flows back into the bottom part of gluteus maximus. So spin those two faces, move this around. For now, that'll, that'll be good. The flow is coming right down the side there, you see. And spin those two. Uh, maybe not. How about those two? Okay. And spin the one beneath it. I'm just following basically the, the shape and form on the actual maquette. You can look at the reference images. And also the ones parallel and diagonally beneath it. There we go. Now just move around those points. Line them up together. And now we can extrude the, the, the gluteus maximus, bottom part of it, and the iliotibial tract. Select all these faces. 
all the way down to around the knee area. You pull this up. Those three underneath it also. Oops. One, two, three. Oops. Can't get that last one. Come on. There we go. And one, two, three, four underneath. So we've got all our geometry selected. Let's extrude that. Pull it out just a little bit. Deselect all the ones on the iliotibial tract along the side of the leg and pull out the ones on the gluteus maximus lower part and scale those together. Okay. And now just round out the forms by grabbing points and shaping it. All right. It looks like a mess of geometry, but it'll look good when we're done. Spin that right there alongside of the tensor fascia lata. I'm going to want to spin uh, the two faces on the outside side of the outside and back side of the iliotibial tract. I don't like things coming to a point along an extrude. So why don't we do that after we move around some of these points? Okay, Let's zoom in there. And just fix the flow right here, spin those, delete that extra edge in between, whoops, yeah, much better. Let's move around these points, round out the shape of the bottom of the glutes. And now let's fix that, grab these two faces, spin them, push around the points, lining them up more evenly. Do the same thing to the one diagonally beneath it. Spin it, move around the points, and I think there's two more left diagonally beneath it, right there. All right. There we go. Got that part done. We still need to do the spinning the faces down at the bottom of the leg. Let's fix that next. Okay, spin those two faces and delete the extra edges there that are there. Okay, and the one right in front of it and a little lower. Those two. Zoom in, spin those and delete the extra edges they share. Okay, just move around the points a little. And we've got the upper leg done there. Take a look here. Mm, let me zoom in here to the sacrum, I want to spin these two faces inward. All right, can okay, move around some points, shape this a little better to match the reference and the maquette. All right, there we have the upper leg.